tifoso del Milan aveva pensato al fischio finale e arriva adesso con anticipo rispetto al recupero che era stato previsto il Milan vince più sognato da tutti i tifosi rossoneri Paolo Maldini riceve la settima Coppa dei Campioni della storia del Milan i rossoneri sono campioni d'Europa that's it Milan oh champions oh Italy, the celebrations can start! Massimiliano Allegri has been sacked as manager of AC Milan following a shock 4-3 defeat to Sassuolo in Serie A. Clarence Seedorf is returning to AC Milan to try to rescue the team season. The Dutchman ended a 22-year playing career, quitting his Brazilian club Botafogo to take on the new job. Primo ringraziamento va al, al presidente, al dottor Gagliani, alla dottoressa Barbara Berlusconi perché mi hanno dato un'opportunità fantastica. AC Milan have sacked manager Filippo Inzaghi after just one year in charge and have replaced him with Sinisa Mihailovic. Another rumble at AC Milan in their turbulent run of seasons. Sinisa Mihailovic has been officially sacked by the club. The decision arrived just two days after their 2-1 defeat against Juventus now managed by Massimiliano Allegri, one of four coaches sacked by Milan since 2010. In the same announcement, the name of his successor was also unveiled. Chris... Me! Stop hiring old players, Milan. It doesn't work. Time for me to have an attempt to try and resurrect the Rossoneri. They've been having a really poor time of things the past couple of seasons, and hopefully, hopefully, we can be the difference that the side needs to get back to where they used to be. You saw in the intro, players like Ibrahimovic, Thiago Silva, Alex Pato, Ronaldinho, Andrea Perlo, Kaká. Actually, I don't think Kaká was in the intro, but he's another one as well. So many amazing players have played for Milan. Maldini, we saw there too. It's time to get back to that. This side has just deteriorated over the past two or three years with mismanagement and poor on-pitch performances. Milan deserve to be at the top of Serie A and it is my job now to get them back there. Welcome to the AC Milan career mode. Drop the video a like if you enjoy the series and are excited about the future of it. The plan is to try and take this side back to the top of Italian football and of European football too. We ended with, uh, or part of the uh, the intro was Maldini lifting the Champions League back in 2007 when they last, I think it was the last time they won it. So uh, we want to get back to that. Now they finished 10th in Serie A last season, so there is no European football this year at AC Milan. We do, though, have expectations set by the uh, by the board and what they want us to achieve in the league is to qualify for the Champions Cup, which is, of course, the Champions League without the licensing. So we need to finish top three. That's two. Top three in Italy because it's only the top three that qualify for the Champions League. Then fourth and fifth both go into the Europa League. So Champions League qualification is a must. My assistant manager recommends that I buy a goalkeeper, but there's a certain youngster that you may have seen on the thumbnail that we uh, actually might need to throw into that first team goalkeeper uh, competition. They want us to reach the round of 16 in the Cup and the uh, in the Champions Trophy, the pre-season tournament, where there's about £7 million to be earned. We have Tigres, Colo Colo and Universidad de Chile. So uh, hopefully we can have a good pre-season tournament and get ourselves some extra funding. When it comes to the transfer budget we have, I didn't use the 60% boost we have 29 million pounds available and a wage budget of 140,000 pounds now that can be altered slightly and will be added to by hopefully a decent pre-season tournament run and some players being moved on but the question is who do we move on and who do we bring in do we go for immediately the world's best talents or do we go to the youth scouts and try and bring in some homegrown talent or maybe even try and pick other teams homegrown talents Players like Domenico Berardi, for example. Players like that. We are actually looking for right-sided midfielder. I'll go through the squad report. We'll have a look at the players that we currently have at the club. And there is a few things that I want your opinion on. So make sure you stick with me. And do drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. To ensure you don't miss out on any further content here at AC Milan. Now, when it comes to the goalkeeper side of things, 
Gianluigi Donnarumma is one of the hottest prospects in European football. He's 16 years of age. He's six foot five, I believe. Yes, six foot five and uh, 71 rated at 16 years of age. Now, if I train him and play him first team every week, he is going to grow into hopefully the next Gianluigi Buffon. So uh, Gianluigi taking his first name after the great man, maybe we can build him up to become a Gianluigi Buffon style goalkeeper. We do also have Diego Lopez, who's 33, and Abiati, who's now 37. Uh, Diego Lopez would be my backup. I genuinely think I'm going to start uh, Donnarumma as my first team goalkeeper, though. Abiati, he's been at the club for so long, I, I feel bad selling him on. But if needs be, we might we might try and move him on just to raise that extra little bit of, uh, of cash. But if I can keep him here just to have him at the club rather than send him on and let him finish his career here, then I will do so. If there are any Milan fans in the comment section, then do let me know which players are kind of cult heroes at AC Milan, and I will try my best to appreciate that throughout the uh, throughout the series. And also let me know if there are any squad numbers that have been retired, because throughout the Chelsea series and the West Ham series, there are a couple of numbers that I, uh, I needed to uh, take off certain players, because obviously... At uh, West Ham, Bobby Moore's number was retired. At Chelsea, Zola's number was retired. Although I think actually Dom Solanke had Zola's number. We also have a goalkeeper, Gabriel, out at Napoli currently. He's all right. Perhaps could, after his loan spell is finished, take over from Diego Lopez as the backup goalkeeper to Gianluigi Donnarumma, who hopefully by the end of this first season may be up towards 80 rated. We'll have to wait and see. When it comes to the right side of defence, we have Ignacio Abate, who's obviously going to be first choice at right back for now. He's 28 years old now, though, so getting on a little bit, although he's still got a couple of years in him before we need to move him on or sell him. Move him on or sell him. Move him on or drop him to the rotation squad. Uh, Davide Calabria is an 18-year-old. He will definitely go out on loan this year. Hopefully he can get some good first team uh, experience. When it comes to the other side of the defence, we have Luca Antonelli, who's 28 years of old, years of age and uh, 77 rated. We also have Matteo De Chilio, or Mattia De Chilio, sorry who's 22 and 75 rated. Now, I'm probably going to start him over Antonelli purely because he's the better prospect and can grow to uh, to become quite a good player. So we're going to start him at left-back as well as Abate at right-back. When it comes to the centre-back spots, we have Christian Zapata. We also have the youngster Alessio Romagnoli, who's going to be a key player for us in that centre-back role. He, too, will get trained quite a bit. We have a couple of experienced players as well, both 33 years of age. Alex at 79 rated and Felipe Mexes, or Philippe Mexes at 33 years of age. Mexes is a player I have always, always loved. So he will definitely be involved for me. Alex, obviously, was fantastic at Chelsea and a rock for uh, Milan, hopefully for us in this series as well. When it comes to the other youngsters, players like Stefan Simic, he will probably go out on loan, almost definitely. 34 acceleration really puts me off him, though, to be completely honest. So I might consider selling him on, but we might loan him because he's not really valued at much. Rodrigo Ely is 70 years of 70 years of age, 70 rated and 21 years of age. He looks like he could be quite promising. I don't know whether to send him out on loan or to involve him in the first team situation because, of course, we do have. Uh, Alex and Felipe and Mexis here for those rotation spots. It seems both of them though need contract extensions, which is something that we'll have to think about. Maybe not early doors, but later in the season. Uh, Gabriel Paletta is 29 and out on loan. When he comes back from Atalanta, I will sell him. Vergara is another youngster that's out on loan. Depends how he gets on. Is that Livorno? Yeah, depends how he gets on at Livorno as to whether we sell him on or keep him. Uh, and then that's the defence done and dusted that we have quite a few players that are out on loan though so you're gonna have to let me know which ones to recall which ones to leave which ones to uh, sell when they come back we have Mario Piccinocchi perhaps Piccinocchi Piccinocchi you'll have to let me know uh, how to pronounce some of these uh, some of these names he really doesn't look that good though out on loan at Lugano probably gonna leave him there and then sell him on when he comes back KZK Honda is a player I absolutely adore. He's fantastic. I love his left foot. It's an absolute rocket. He can He's down as a right mid, but he can play at cam as well, which is probably where he's better due to his lack, well, not lack of pace, but he's not electric fast. But he is currently on the right-hand side of my midfield in the starting lineup. Suso is out on loan at Genoa, formerly of Liverpool, of course. So uh, he will probably come back and feature for us next season. He could play on either side of the midfield. Could probably play him at cam as well, if needs be. So let me know what you think about Suso. My two starting midfielders currently are uh, Juraj Kuka 
and Ricardo Montalivo. Montalivo is the best midfielder we have at the club at 79 rated. And uh, Kuka is a good all-round player. As is uh, Bertolacci, who's 24 years of age and just been brought in from Roma. So he may actually push Kuka for a starting position, both of which are new signings at the club. Given Prince Boateng re-signed with AC Milan, and he too is a fantastic all-round player. Still only 28 years of age as well, which is madness. It feels like uh, KBP has been around for so long. Uh, Alessandro Mastali will get sent out on loan. Uh, Jose Mauri will also get sent out on loan, I think. I'm going to rely on my more experienced players in this first season just to try and get me into uh, the upper reaches of Serie A whilst we build the stats of the younger players and then hopefully can rely on them from season two onwards. So Maori will probably go out on loan. Andrea Polly is another good all-round player. I like Polly. He's not the best, but he's a great squad player to have in your club. Andre Modic is uh, out on loan at Vicenza, 19 years of age, only 62 rated though, so he probably won't do much for us. Uh, Giacomo Bonaventura is another very good player. He's my starting left mid currently. Uh, Gianfilippo Felicioli is uh, 17 years of age and 60 rated. He might grow a little bit. I don't know anything about him. We'll send him out on loan. Uh, Simone Verdi looks like a fantastic player and great uh, potential as well. He's currently on loan at Carpi. I'll leave him out on loan for now because we have plenty of midfielders at present and we'll, like I say, use the experienced players right now to then rely on the youth in further seasons once they've grown a little bit more. But Verdi is going to be a good player. Hachim Mastor, he's on a two-year loan deal to Malaga. I'm going to leave him out on loan for the first season and we will readdress season two whether to bring him back to the club or not depending on our situation at that point. But he too, along with uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma, is another extremely promising youngster 17 years of age, 67 rated currently. I believe he has five-star skills. He does, and a three-star weak foot too. So he's going to play a big part for us in the latter seasons. Jeremy Menev is a player that I really, really like also. He can play at centre-forward or cam or striker or on either side of the midfield. So uh, he's going to be an extremely important player for us this season. Carlos Baca is clearly going to be the number one striker at the club, and I don't see any point in uh, replacing him right now. We do have plenty of strikers here, including Mbai Niang, who can also play out wide on the left-hand side. Uh, I could probably play him on the right as well, to be fair. Uh, he's 20 years of age, 75 rated, will play a heavy part in everything that goes on in this first season as well as future seasons. Mario Balotelli, I don't know what to do with him. I really don't know what to do with Mario. I'm going to take your feedback on him. He's valued at 9.5 million. He's only on loan here, so... I may send him back. I may send him back. Or we could use him as a squad player for this first season. It's up to you. But maybe we could save on wages. I'm really not sure about Mario Balotelli. Mario Balotelli. Luis Adriano has recently signed from Shakhtar Donetsk for £10.5 million. He's going to be alongside Jeremy Menez, who actually is at Cam in my starting lineup. I'll show you my starting lineup in a moment. Menez at Cam with backer at striker. So Luis Adriano could be rotation striker, but we also have Niang that can play there all out wide as well. So there are so many players that are good squad players and can play in a variety of different roles as well, which is uh, is good here. Fernando Torres is currently out on loan at uh, Atleti. Alessandro Matri is currently out on loan at Lazio, both of which I will leave out on loan. Giacomo Beretta is currently out on loan at Vicelli and he will stay there and probably get moved on when he comes back. Uh, Jan Mora, ja, bleh, I saw that again. Jan Mario Comi is out on loan at Livorno. Again, similar situation with Beretta. Will stay there and probably get sold when he comes back. Now, the main thing with regards loan deals, you have to let me know what to do with Arsarawi. We can leave him out on loan at Roma for the year or we can recall him now. I believe, it, I don't know whether I can do it from this screen. I can. I can either recall him now for £720,000. That would come out of our budget, which is at £29 million, So it wouldn't really take much of a hit. We could recall him now and use him this first season or we could leave him out on loan at Roma. I'm really going to need your feedback for that particular one. Now, this first season, I'm not sure how much transfer activity we're going to get done. I'm leaning towards sending out a couple of youth scouts. I have used the uh, uh, extra you know, fantastic you know, five-star scout that you can get as uh, an entry thing for career mode. So we're going to have one world-class scout that's going to come back with a scout future star type player. We can obviously still use a scout future star thing as well, if you might like me to. Again, I'm going to need your feedback in the comment section for that. The uh, the season, as it stands, starts with the, uh, the group stage of the... Uh, pre-season tournament, which we will play in tomorrow's episode. The league season doesn't start until the 16th. Oh, well, no, the league season doesn't start until the 23rd. So we have to wait until the end of August before um, the, uh, you know, the foot football first team football actually starts. So 
we're going to have a lot of transfer activity in the opening few episodes. Obviously, the first three preseason games, like I say, will be in tomorrow's episode, and then we will deal with any latter stages in that tournament should we progress. And throughout the uh, opening two or three episodes of this series, or three or four, once we actually get into gameplay, we'll hopefully get as much transfer activity done as we need, but I don't know how much I actually need to do this first season. With regards uh, the young players, like I said, I'm going to send them out on loan and rely on planning to rely on the experience here and maybe lean towards youth scouts because we have promising players here like Donnarumma, like Mastor, who's currently out on loan. El Sharawi is already a well-established young player who could jump into our first team. And there are a couple of others like Romagnoli, who's well-established in the first team already at 76 rated. And uh, I know a lot of you really like uh, seeing me try and build with the youth like we did at Chelsea with Nathan and Bertrand Troy and Dom Solanke and, uh, and Kennedy. So maybe we'll try and do the same here at AC Milan in Italy and try and rebuild the club from the ground up. Now, the plan is for this series to last until the end of FIFA 16. Whether we stay at Milan for the entirety of that uh, time is unclear, but I will stay in this save until the end of FIFA 16. This time, we will make sure that we uh, we follow up on that. Because the plan was to do that with the West Ham series, but I uh, decided to go back to Chelsea instead. And we're not going to go back to Chelsea. I've removed that save, deleted it. I've deleted the West Ham save. I've deleted a couple of other saves as well. This is going to be our main save until the end of FIFA 16, alongside the My Player as well. So make sure you show it loads of love with a, uh, a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section as many suggestions as possible and the feedback with regards to the young players, youth scouts, potentially recalling Stefan El Sarawi. Going to need all your feedback here. A lot of people on YouTube kind of uh, say, oh, give me your feedback, and then just go and do what they want anyway. But I don't. It's why my series tend to be a little bit more extended than others. I tend to spend more time in the transfer windows, maybe three or four episodes per transfer window, making sure I buy the players you want me to buy. So let me know. Tell me what to do and I will act upon it. I'm going to go and record episode number two now as well and record these first three games of the pre-season tournament so I can get a feel of the players that we currently have here. And uh, again, it will give us extra time to see what you guys think in the comment section of uh, today's video. I can record tomorrow's, then act on your feedback from today's and tomorrow's when I record Sunday's episode. You see where I'm coming from? So there's a lot of a lot of stuff that I need to hear from you. Feel free to let me know on Twitter as well. Links will be in the description to my Twitter. Follow me on Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media platforms. But for now, that's going to bring this episode one to a close. Thank you very much for watching. I am particularly excited to get underway here at Milan because we have so many good youth prospects that will, fingers crossed, with good training and first team experience, either here or out on loan, grow to become world beaters for us here at AC Milan. And we want to return Milan to their former glories. We could, later in the series, maybe try and bring back Ibra, Thiago Silva, Kaka, Perlo. Let me know about that in the comment section down below as well. But for now, that's all from me for episode number one. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.